here we go again hey hey marvel has done another bullshit comedy which is called she hulk anyway what's going on, guys welcome to my channel it's your boy round if you need to channel subscribe to all that great stuff all right y'all so as you guys know she hulk early reviews have come out and what people are saying is it's a comedy Huh, like we ain't tired of seeing all this bullshit comedy from Marvel. So we are going to be reacting to what Mr. Critical Drinker has to say about this because he's a funny guy. Y'all should watch him. All right. Critical Drinker, take it away, my boy. Ah, She-Hulk. A show that hasn't exactly endeared itself to fans of the comic book character or the Marvel movies or anyone else, really. Whether it's the fucking atrocious CGI that looks like something shot out in the early 2000s, or the interviews with the cast and crew that make the whole production sound like a multi-million dollar coping session for lonely single women staring down the barrel of middle age and facing up to the terrifying reality that their lives are ultimately as hollow and empty as the box of cheap supermarket wine they get through every evening. Still, hope shines wait, eternal- Wait, hold up, hold up. So, this is, is it, like, we all look at the cast, man. They're all women. Okay. Still, hope shines oh, eternal when you're a YouTube movie critic. Yeah, maybe we're not going to get gripping, hard-hitting storylines and compelling characters like we've had in none of the other MCU shows on Disney+, Plus. but what the show does promise us is laughter. Lots of laughter. Because according to the advertising, She-Hulk is a hilarious legal comedy told from a female perspective. Kind of like Ally McBeal meets Sex in the City with a dash of superhero magic thrown in. A show that's all about the everyday reality of just being a regular person in this crazy mixed up world. So what happens on a regular Tuesday when you just have to do laundry? That's really kind of the slice of life that this show yeah, kind of explores. Right? A lot of documentation, <laughs> yeah. a lot of... This is the show of legal paperwork. Yeah. So bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for us. When do I get the feeling that the writing staff just really wanted to do a standard sitcom about modern day life and only took on this gig because it was the only way to make it happen? Like, you know how Seth MacFarlane really wanted to do a serious Star Trek show with the Orville, but the only way he could get it greenlit was to make it a comedy satire because that's what everyone expected of him. Well, I'm getting kind of a similar vibe with this. Anyway, I guess it makes sense for this show to be a comedy, partly because the MCU has basically turned into one big joke over the past couple of years. I know, right? Like, bro, it's not because, even funny, to be man. Fair, it's staying true to the source material. The original She-Hulk from the comics was well known for making witty observations about the world around her, breaking the fourth wall on a regular basis, and for her flirtatious wink-wink acknowledgement about the kind of audience that was actually reading her books. Wouldn't expect any of this in the show, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could argue that bringing in a character like Daredevil, who's well that, known man. for his dark, brooding and violent persona, and whose dead serious Netflix show basically launched a far superior Marvel TV universe before... Okay, first of all, y'all, if they bring Daredevil to uh, Marvel, you guys know what's... They're gonna trash... They're gonna trash him, y'all, because he's gonna be a clown. I mean, the little snippet in, you know, Homecoming... I said Homecoming. Was he? Was he? No Way Home. Yeah, No Way Home. I forgot, man. So it was he was a clown. I mean, I don't know, man, like Marvel man, they got this they got this toxic uh, you know, virus so just turning everything into a clown. Or Disney pulled the plug on it. Makes about as much sense as bringing Freddy Krueger into an episode of the Teletubbies, but whatever. What the? To this day, I'm not entirely sure which one's more terrifying. Ooh, I'm sure they'll treat him with great they, respect man. and dignity, just like they did with Kingpin. <laughs> <laughs> but the question that comes to mind for me is, if She-Hulk really is a comedy, then is it actually funny? Well, until the show itself comes out in a couple of days, all we've got to go on is a few sample clips that have been released by Marvel so far. The kind of top tier, cream of the crop content that's guaranteed to leave us soiling our underwear in fits of laughter. Like this one here, where She-Hulk is training alongside, uh, regular Hulk. And being better than him at everything, naturally. Damn, remember when the Hulk was a genuinely terrifying character that teetered right on the brink of being a villain? I know, right? To the point where I even know, Black right? Widow was shit scared of Bruce in case he transformed? Hey, bro. Instead of just being a goofy CGI version of Mark Ruffalo? I, I see this as an absolute win. Like, bro. I'm sure you do, Mark. But hey, there's a joke in here somewhere, right? Which means that we can drink so much <laughs> and not get drunk. <laughs> 
Wait, what? What the fuck's the point in drinking alcohol if you can't actually get drunk from it? Do you really think people like me drink massive quantities of it every day just because it tastes nice? Not a great plan. But not so worry, an even better clip got released a couple of days ago, this time serving as an opening scene for the show. And it's a car crash. I'm sure there's some kind of symbolic meaning to that. Anyway, Jen and Bruce are taking a car ride together, and it made me chuckle the moment I saw Mark Ruffalo's face, because I could practically picture what was going on in his mind. <laughs> Just smile and do the scene, Mark, so we can get the fuck out of here. <laughs> to be fair, this is the kind of face that I'd probably have if I, I know, had right? spent a long car journey <laughs> listening to banter from Jennifer Walters. Oh, now, God. I have to admit, given the context of this show and the people writing it, I did wonder how long it was going to be before they started taking pot shots at established Marvel heroes, and as it turns out, not too long at all. Today's object of mockery is Steve Rogers. Why does there seem to be this weird effort to tear down Captain America in these Marvel TV shows? Bro. Like Falcon and the Winter Soldier already had a good crack at making him out to be a selfish asshole for passing on his shield to Sam without acknowledging his privilege and apologizing for his own existence. What the hell's How going on, he? man? But it always makes me laugh because if he'd passed it to Bucky instead, then he'd have been accused of racism for overlooking the far more deserving black man. Man. It must be great fun playing a game where every possible move results in failure. Anyway, I'm digressing here. Let me get back to Jen and her scintillating banter. So, back to what I was saying before? Please, Jen, enlighten us. Steve Rogers did not have a girlfriend before he went into the service. That's right, he didn't. Because he didn't look like this. And yep. as a result, he was probably passed over by a lot of shallow, self-absorbed arseholes who would prefer to judge a man's worth based on how he looks and yep. how much money he makes. But yep. then again, Steve got turned into Captain America, saved the world on countless occasions, and got to spend the rest of his days with the love of his life before finally passing on the torch to a new generation, a fulfilled man facing the end of a long and which really doesn't make any sense because that would change the entire timeline because he was never Captain America then. But, hey, it's Marvel. Anything is possible, right? Happy life with peace, dignity, and acceptance. While well, people like you, on the other hand, get to cry yourself to sleep every night after spending another evening alone on the couch with a bottle of wine and a rerun of Sex in the City. Who lived the more worthwhile life, I wonder? From that moment on, a symbol of America, he is rushed to the front lines, he becomes a war hero. Now, I don't know, man. If you'd watched the movie, then you'd probably know that Steve was actually used as a celebrity performer and propaganda symbol for quite some time before actually seeing combat. And I'm no expert here, but I'm pretty sure more than a few of these dancing girls got a welcome injection of patriotism between shows, if you catch my drift. <laughs> All you're doing is repeating everything that I've already told you about my friend and colleague. I know, Mark. Isn't it annoying when screenwriters do nothing but rehash previously known information just to fill in time? Obviously, Captain America was a virgin. Look out! <laughs> I don't know what you did. You're a damn Oh, stop it, Jen. My sides can only split so much. I mean, if this is the cream of the crop that Marvel have chosen to show us to get us fired up for the real thing, then the mind boggles at what might be waiting for us once She-Hulk actually airs. Seriously, though, I know these are only a limited selection of clips that might have just been poorly chosen. Maybe the actual show will be a comedy masterclass and we'll forget all the doubts and criticisms that were swirling around it before the premiere. I mean, the head writer wrote Pickle Rick for Rick and Morty, so that gives me some kind of hope that she knows how to work humour and satire into an engaging story, but the problem is that Rick and Morty was a very different show from She-Hulk, made by a very different studio. Call me cynical if you like, but I can't shake the feeling that this is a show written by a group of single women in their late 30s <laughs> whose main preoccupation is exploring the angst and hang-ups of being a single woman in your late 30s, and so really, yeah. that's the only people that it's likely to appeal to. I mean, that's that perfectly fine by me. There's nothing wrong with targeting specific demographics and making products designed to appeal to them, but if that's the case, I can't wait for Marvel to start making shows designed to appeal to heterosexual men who enjoy seeing kick-ass heroes, guns, action, explosions and hot women. But of course, we know that'll never happen. Either way, I guess we'll find out one way or another in a couple of days when the show airs. Can't say I'm exactly waiting with bated breath though. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Go away now. Alright Critical Drinker, thank you for... Yo, anal yo, yo. Why do I, I struggle to say that word? Analysis? Yeah, analysis. Anyways, yo, so uh, I got a few things to say, man, before I end this video. First of all, um, I was I was watching someone explain the demographics 
of who watch you know marvel films more and y'all know it's fe males males watch marvel films more than females it's just fair females females they don't they're not into others you know i don't know but yeah and if this is appealing to females in their 30s i don't know how that will reflect on you know the majority of marvel fans man to be honest like because i'm not really excited for this show man i ain't gonna lie i don't care about she like i could miss it you know i'm literally just watching this so i can do a review you know because you know it's youtube right but if not i don't think i'll i'll be so hyper i'm not hyper about it man you know because from the review everyone says it's a it's comedy and you know i i don't trust marvel comedy anymore like their comedy is shit. you know after watching thor love and thunder i'm i don't want to ever watch a marvel film in my entire life like after black panther i think i'm done watching marvel films in the theater man you know it's like that's the last for me you know so uh i i don't know if they they realize that this joke of a thing is no longer working like it was working before right it, it was something that was a hit but they you know they overdid it and now people are just tired of it you know we want serious content like you know she hulk you know I, I, and again she hulk man she looks like a barbie green doll man no cap man like bro they, are they sexualizing her man i, I thought they don't do that man. you know what I mean? <laughs> so you know again it's, it, disney kind of complicates themselves you know they say oh yeah I respect women but yeah you sexualizing uh, uh, you know someone and I, I really don't know how it'll appeal to women, you know, because a lot of women, they, maybe, you know, they don't feel that they're attractive in their, you know, in just their regular look, right? And then watching the show, obviously, Tatiana, my, my love, the lady that plays it, I'm telling you, man, she looks like granny. Like, to me, she looks like a granny, man. So I don't think she'll be having any chance with or luck with, you know, getting men. But when she get transformed into the, to the Hulk, or she hulk it's like what the hell <laughs> how she got perfect makeup uh you know long ass hair uh boobs ass so i don't know how this will uh, appeal to you know women in that category i'm just glad i'm not a woman so i don't i don't know i don't want to do all that thing you know i'm gonna watch i'm gonna watch it anyways i'm gonna watch it yo you know i'm gonna watch it you know just because i i don't have any content to watch right now so i just hope that they don't overdo this comedy nonsense, man. Because to be honest, even the villain, I don't know what's the name. The, 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 I don't know, Titanium, something like that. She doesn't even look like, she doesn't look scary. She, don't, I mean, I, <sighs> she just looks like, you know, you know, a modern, modernized prostitute. That's what she looks like. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, look at her, man. She looks like a modernized prostitute. So I'm just saying, man, nothing is exciting about this show. I'm just watching it so i can do a, a review on youtube but anyways if you guys enjoyed critical uh thinker his um video make sure to give him a like subscribe to his channel as well you know and subscribe to my channel as well and i'll see you guys next time take it easy and go away now <laughs> like he says right <laughs>